Christopher Chavez. Come on up, bro. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? I got a message from the management. The managers uh, wanted me to announce this. Well, for all the white ladies out there, I will not steal your purse. Okay? Tonight. Right? Tomorrow's a different story. <laughs> What's going on? My name is Christopher Chavez Sr., man. Y'all doing good? Here you make some noise. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a nice day today, right? Pretty nice. Woke, my, uh, woke up, did my stretches. You know, stretched my shirt out. <laughs> See, he knows what I'm talking about. He's like, right? <laughs> Went to the mirror when I was naked. I stretched the truth. I was like, you don't look that bad at Cruz. I do. I look horrible. <laughs> but seriously, man, I'm really happy to be here. Really happy to not be in jail, to be completely honest with you. But the way I look, man, the way I look, I get profiled so bad, man, I got pulled over in the parking lot the other day, man. It's nice for you, like I put over the parking lot, the police come out, he's like, what are you doing? Get your hands on the wheel. What's this garbage in the back seat? I said, those are my kids, man. <laughs> come on, bro. Seriously, man. So, oh, parent, we got any parents? Make some noise. You got any parents out here? Make some noise. Yeah. There you go. You're out on a Saturday night. Look at you. Uh, I'm out here, too. It's okay. But yeah, I'm a father, not by choice. Right? But I'm a father. Yeah, I got two kids. I got an eight and a six-year-old. And my six-year-old, I got a borderline autistic child, right? Not artistic. Like, me a little artistic. Why well, only paint picture? No, no, not artistic. I'm not, looking, I'm not looking for sympathy or anything like that. But when you got a borderline autistic child, it's like having a little drunk person around. <laughs> like 24-7, okay? And they get like, 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 like angry white boy drunk. You know what I'm saying? Like, like he'll go to you and be like, Dad, can I have some candy, Dad? I'm like, no, dude, you can't have any candy. He's like, oh, oh. Nothing goes right in my life. <laughs> All I wanted was candy, Dad. You didn't even give me no candy. I'm like, dude, don't worry. You can have candy for dessert. He's like, really, Dad? I love you, Dad. And I'm like, I love you too, buddy. We, you know, he's doing better. We learned to get over it, man. We're dealing with but my cocaine bill is out the roof. Because okay. <laughs> that guy can snort like a turbo jet. <laughs> that kid doesn't do coke. Okay, <laughs> Anyways, give it up for Mr. Sideways right here. He's got his headphones on. Give it up sideways, yeah. Do not call child labor, please. Because he is not getting paid. Don't worry about that, man. But yeah, the other day, uh, I went to pick up my kids from uh, school. And my six-year-old comes running up to me. He's got his page for the book fair, right? You see the book fair, right? You remember that, right? So he comes running up to me. He goes, Dad, 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 guess what? I was like, what's up, dude, my little man, Christopher Chavez Jr., right? What's going on? Talk to me, soldier. What's happening? And he goes, dad, 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 Hello Kitty's a book, and it's a book for girls, and I want it. <laughs> now I know what to do after I stop crying, right? <laughs> you know, I was going to hit him with the principles right there, you know what I'm saying? He was a white dude, he wouldn't have understood. <laughs> But it's like 2014, right? Like, I gotta be a progressive parent. I gotta be a progressive parent, this and that. Like, I wonder if this is what Elton John's dad had to go through, right? Like, when Elton John was growing up, right? He'd be like, oi, oi, little Elton, why are you eating that corn dog like a lollipop? <laughs> but don't swallow it in one bite, then. Okay, that's a gay joke, right? I'm sorry. Elton John's gay. Ah, nothing against gay people. I got my brother's gay. It was actually true. I used to have a gay goldfish. All right? He used to blow bubbles all day long. And bubbles was the sucker fish on the side. <laughs> Y'all are a good crowd, man. But, uh, so the other day, uh, these kids are too soft. Y'all with me, man? These kids too soft today, man. These kids are waiting. No, this old boy, he's like, hell no. Like, oh. He's ready to stab me, man. Don't stab me, please. But, yeah, but mostly, most of these kids are too soft today, man. My, my kids come home with a ribbon on their chest for Bully Awareness Week. Right? Have you seen this garbage? Bully Awareness Week, right? So he comes home. I'm like, dude, what's that ribbon on your chest, man? He goes, oh, Dad, it's Bully Awareness Week, Dad. It's Bully Awareness. If you're getting bullied or you see someone getting bullied, you need to tell the teacher or tell the principal because it's Bully Awareness. Right? 
I was like, dude, bully awareness. Are you aware that that ribbon makes you look like a sissy? He said yes. But bully awareness, that's where we're going wrong, man. Like, did you have bully awareness week when you were growing up, sir? No, I didn't have bully awareness week. Right? I didn't go tell the teacher. I went to go tell my cousin Julio who had a knife. Right? <laughs> And he handled it for me, and I made him aware of the bully. And that's it. Right? So I'm starting the anti-wimpy campaign, okay? I feel for these kids, right? So I'm starting the anti-wimpy campaign. We got a page on Facebook, right? We're gonna have ribbons. You know what color ribbons we're gonna have? We're gonna have ribbons, because ribbons are for wimps, man. We're just gonna have buttons that have Bob from La Bamba on it. Right? It's gonna say, not my first or my last. Yeah, there you go. That's a La Bamba joke for you. <laughs> I love my kids, man. Like I said, I got two kids, and when I do these gigs, like I always get home too late, and I can never tuck them in, so they're always asleep by the time I get home. So whenever they're uh, asleep, I come. I like to tuck them in before I go to bed, right? So it's a beautiful thing, parent. I'm sure you, you can agree with me. It's a beautiful thing being a father. So I see both of them, right? I go to the first one, and I kiss him on the forehead. He's already asleep. I whisper in his ear, I kneel down, and I tell him, Santa Claus isn't real. <laughs> Love you. I go to the other one. I start crying. I'm like, <laughs> I could have had an Xbox. <laughs> I could have had an Xbox, but you needed shots. <laughs> it really happened like last night. <laughs> Y'all are mean, man. I have an But when you have kids, I love my kids, right? And you're a parent. When you're, when you're, when you're a parent, the kids teach you stuff, right? Am I right? You, you know, you, you think you know about life, but when you have kids, kids teach you stuff. And one thing that I've learned from being a parent is that racism is completely natural, all right? They owe me on there's a quiet crickets everywhere. God, dog, you hit a nerve there. Anyways, racism is completely natural, and I'm going to show you why, all right? So both of my boys, we got them in karate, right? And they're doing good, so I figured, hey, I should show him the Karate Kid, right? Not the Fresh Prince version, right? But like the old school one, Mr. Miyagi, right? So, we're like 30 minutes into the movie, and Mr. Miyagi doesn't do karate at all, right? Until 30 minutes into it, because he doesn't have to, right? So, Miyagi comes out, and he starts karate, woo, kicking everyone's butt and everything like that. I turn to my kid, and I go, dude, check it out. Mr. Miyagi knows karate, huh? Bet you didn't see that one coming. And he goes, uh-huh, Dad, because of his face. <laughs> I thought that was the funniest thing I ever heard of. <laughs> so racism is natural, right? It's not taught, okay? No, I taught him that. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. When you have kids, man, like you can never like make love in peace and quiet again, right? I mean, when they're like two, three years old, it's okay because they're still babies, right? But once they're like five years old, like these kids have radar, right? Like you gotta make love like you're hiding from Anne Frank, or like you're hiding, <laughs> like you're hiding from Anne Frank. <laughs> Like, your aunt Frank got it from the Germans. Sorry, I went to Burbank. <laughs> My history is also pretty well. <laughs> My bad, it's outside, it's outside. <laughs> any bulldogs? Any bulldogs? Yeah, go Burbank, yeah. All the pregnant teenagers call it sperm bang, man. <laughs> but anyways, man. Eh, screw that. <laughs> so anyway, so we just moved into a new house, right? It's a bigger house, we moved from an apartment, but it's an older house and it's got bad roaches, right? You ever had a house with bad roaches before? Yeah, the Mexicans are like, yeah, the white people are like, mm -hmm. doesn't the butler take care of that? Robin's <laughs> worth. But we got bad roaches, right? You know you got you know you got bad roaches when the kids start to name them as pets and stuff. <laughs> and they won't let me kill the roach when I'm trying to kill it, and they're like, no, dad, he's my friend. Don't kill Ralph. I'm like, Ralph was in my coffee, dude. Right? <laughs> Ralph's gotta go. And they come out when you're cooking, right? I'll be cooking and they come oh, over there. Which cooking? <laughs> smells good. Right? And they came over the vent, right? And they come and hang over. And one time they came over and it came and fell in the food I was cooking. Man, can you believe that? Fell in the food. And my kids had to eat that. Right? <laughs> I went to Whataburger, man. <laughs> but still, it's messed up, right? You go to the drawer, try and get a spoon, he hands you a knife. <laughs> Thank you. 
the worst part is they judge you, man. These roaches judge you, got your style, right? Like I'll try and get like a, a snack at like two, two in the morning. Brad, come on, get a snack. And the roach comes out and he's like, you really gonna eat that, Chris? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Well, I guess if you need cheesecake at two in the morning, I'm like, forget you, Ralph. <laughs> You're a jerk. So, yeah. Love my kids, love my family. I got a good woman. Anybody got a good woman out there? Make some noise, make some noise. Yeah. Clap, dude, clap. Clap. Yeah, you clap. There you go. <laughs> Try to get some action later. Come on, come on, man. But I got a good woman, man. The other day, my woman, she popped a pimple on my face. You hear your women boys pop a pimple. It's, it's my woman popped a pimple. Face, right? And I felt so bad because it squirted and it got like all over her face, right? Inside of her eye, and I felt so bad because I'm missing it on a pimple, right? Ooh, okay. Dude, that one normally kills, man. Wow. Glad you didn't end on that one, Jesus. No, okay, we're going again. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there, man. Good, y'all a good crowd, though, seriously, man, a good crowd. I love women, right, I love them to death, but I just don't get them. Right, I remember this one time, back in the day, right, before Instagram and sexting and all that stuff, right, I just go try to get me to talk dirty on the phone with her, right? And I don't know what I'm doing, right? I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing, right? So she's like, hey, Poppy, I'm gonna talk dirty. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. And she's like, talk dirty. I'm like, oh. All right, what do I do? She's like, oh, just let me hear you moan. I was like, all right, but it didn't come out that good. It came out like an old dude on the toilet. Right? She's like, let me hear it, let me hear it. And I was like, oh, yeah. All right, my name is Christopher Chavez Sr., man.